New gun owners are entering the market all the time. This might be out of necessity or out of interest in shooting sports. This means there are a lot of people who don't know what to look for in a handgun that are purchasing handguns. There is a general idea that they have, but it might not be the best option for them. So what is the best option? When choosing the ideal beginner handgun for yourself, it's essential to take into account aspects such as your living conditions, sensitivity to recoil, and individual tastes. We've compiled this video to guide you in selecting the most suitable beginner handgun tailored for your requirements. Regardless of your circumstances, you can feel confident that you've selected the right firearm for your needs. Number 6. Walter PDP For those interested in the budget set but aren't jazzed by the Glocks and M&Ps of the world, Walter has something for you. Their Performance Duty Pistol or PDP Long a dark horse in the firearms world after emerging from World War II in near ruin, Walter makes some of the best guns anywhere and the PDP gives you a lot to consider. First off, Walter pistols are revered for their triggers and the PDP holds up to that legacy. It uses a slight curve paired with a centered safety blade, so it will feel familiar to anyone who has ever fired a Glock. The pull is in the Goldilocks zone at around 5.5 pounds once broken in, so you get a good mix of approachability and safety as that pull weight helps prevent accidental discharges. The grip texture is aggressive, too aggressive for IWB carry for many, but when talking about first handguns, carry fit is less of a concern than getting a good grip and maintaining control and the hexagonal design of the texture does that incredibly well. Full-sized handgun. The slide uses what Walter calls Super Rain Serrations, and the real value here for a new handgun owner is the degree of traction they offer. The serrations are deep and wide, making racking and manipulation straightforward. The pistol also has 10 and 18 rounds mag options, so you'll have plenty of capacity. And the sticks use witness holes, so you'll always know how many rounds are available by just dropping the magazine. A red dot takes a lot of the guesswork out of getting on target and allows you to keep both eyes open, which increases awareness and peripheral vision. One really useful aspect of the PDP is its grip ergonomics are red dot optimized, meaning it makes using a red dot even easier for those unfamiliar with an MRD or those lacking muscle memory. Locating the dot and getting on target feels more natural with the PDP than almost any other pistol I have shot. I was surprised at what a big difference it made. Number 5. Taurus G3C The Taurus G3C is a 9mm semi-automatic pistol with a 10 or 12 round magazine. The G3C continues the Taurus tradition of a single action striker fired pistol with restrike capability. It has a manual safety, a trigger safety and a striker block. The frame is black polymer and the slide is alloy steel with a matte black finish. Weighing 22 ounces unloaded, it has an MSRP of $307.74. The front and rear ambidextrous memory pads unique to Taurus are present on the frame to accommodate firing and non-firing thumb and index finger placement. These pads do an excellent job of promoting a proper grip. The G3C definitely feels more secure in my hands than its predecessor. The trigger guard is the same on the two guns, but the G3C's accessory rail is slightly longer giving an edge for handling a variety of aftermarket lights and lasers. The G3C trigger has a broader, flatter face than the G2's, and it angles more forward. All Taurus striker-fired pistols have a long take-up before the break, but the trigger on the G3C is smoother and a crisper break than the G2. I measured both guns, and with an average of 5 pulls each, both guns averaged 5.1 pounds. Number 4. Glock 20 the Glock 20 is one of the beginner's handguns out there. Offering similar aftermarket support, this Gen 4 Glock comes ready out of the box. Chambered in 10mm auto, it has significantly more power than 9mm options. Since it is a Gen 4 Glock, the Glock 20 has a distinctive finger grooves on the grip. If this impedes your grip on the gun, the ridges can be ground down flush to the grip rather easily. However, removing too much material can cause integrity issues with the frame. The finger grooves are awkwardly placed, which caused many end users to remove them. This is why Gen 5 Glocks no longer feature them. The 15 plus 1 is impressive, seeing that it is a slightly larger cartridge, placing it on par with similar 9mm options. 
However, it is slightly heavier than its 9mm counterparts in order to help deal with the larger recoil of 10mm. This is a great option if you want an off-the-shelf hunting pistol that has good support in the aftermarket. Number 3. Beretta APX While known for double-action autos, the APX is a polymer-framed, striker-fired handgun, in essence, an Italian Glock. However, in typical Italian fashion, it has panache. Per Army specifications, it has modular back straps so you can alter the grip along with ambidextrous slide release levers and a switchable magazine release. The grip housing has understated finger grooves for comfort and a good shooting grip. The slide is machined to be uber grippy so you can run the gun in any conditions. You can order the base gun or get one of the tactical models. It makes a great tactical pistol for those wanting one. A compact version, the APX Centurion, is now available too. A carry model, a slim single-stack subcompact is also available. The party piece of the APX is the ergonomics, as it is incredibly comfortable to hold. The full-size model has a generous back strap for a high right grip. The trigger is not exactly custom 1911 grade, but it is very decent among the polymer striker gun segment. Overall dimensions are 7.55 inches long, 5.6 inches tall, and 1.3 inches wide with a 4.25 inch barrel, so it's a service gun through and through. Unloaded weight is 28.24 ounces and carrying capacity is 17 plus 1 of 9 mm. If you prefer a big plastic fantasy, this is Beretta's take on the format. Number 2. Sig Sauer P320 X Compact the Sig Sauer P320X Compact is a perfect firearm for beginners who want a gun that's easily concealable and comfortable to use, thanks to its diminutive size and modular frame. Featuring a low-profile internal magazine and reduced fastback cut, the P320X is extremely easy to conceal. In addition, the handgun's beaver tail has been extended, while its trigger sports a higher undercut. Together, these features make the gun more comfortable to use and keep recoil under control. Moreover, the 320X Compact has two magazines capable of holding 15 rounds. To make it easy for the user to see in low-light conditions, they have night sights, X-Ray 3 installed. They'll help with self-defense if you're faced with a home invasion in the early hours. Finally, the P320X Compact's polymer frame is highly modular, meaning you can change its parts at will. For example, you can swap the gun's grip for a different version that's comfortable for the user. Number 1. Smith & Wesson M&P 9 M2.0 The Smith & Wesson M&P 9 2.0 is a beginner-friendly handgun with features that work together to accelerate learning. For starters, its stainless steel chassis helps reduce flex. Next, a low barrel bore axis manages recoil. Moreover, this handgun features a trigger pull weight that prevents the firearm from veering off target when fired, helping to improve the user's aim. Additionally, the trigger reset provides an audible cue that helps improve the follow-up technique of the user. It also comes with four interchangeable grip inserts, letting the user customize the gun's fit as needed. For better accuracy, the M&P 9 2.0 is fitted with a 1 in 10 muzzle twist and an 18 degree grip angle that makes aiming more natural. Furthermore, you can purchase the M&P 9 2.0 with or without an external thumb safety. It's suitable for ambidextrous shooters, and you can flip its magazine release button to either side. Not to mention, it comes with two magazines capable of holding 17 rounds, and its frame contains metal rails that dull recoil when it's fired. That concludes our rundown of top-rated beginner handguns. If you found this video informative, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Which beginner handgun are you leaning towards? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in. If this video was beneficial to you, please give it a like. And to stay updated with our upcoming content, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Looking forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, take care and see you soon.